guys welcome to a new fishing planet video uh, in this video I want to explain a little about the game uh, this is a starters video for people who first start to play this game and who are looking to the screen and think what do I need to do what is smart to do how does it work uh, you probably already had a tutorial we all had and for me it was a long time that I started this game, so I need to think uh, what's the best thing to explain to you guys when you start this game. When you start this game, you can go to Lone Star, that's level 1, that's the first. You don't need license, uh, you don't pay a cost to travel there, everything is free, you can go as often as you want, as long as you want, so that's good. And you will start, probably, no I'm sure, with the Taylor Float 450, with the Mini Spin 800. You have a line, that's a mono line. A bobber, this one, that's the oval. You got some hooks, and you got some bread and worms. I would go for the worm, to fish, but that's later. Uh, first, I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, how the game works. Okay, here we have the globe. Yeah, so you can see all the different waters that you can go. Uh, the further you get, so the higher level you get, the more waters you will open. Like this one is level 4. Um, this one is level 5. As you can see level 1 and there is another one that's on the other side of the continent that's Lesney Villa that's level 3 so you start at level 1 if you level up every time you catch a fish you get money you get XP so you get higher and when you got enough XP you go to level 2 all right enough of that about that then you got here inventory as you can see I got a big one forget it in the future you will have the same but probably you can take one rod and you can take a small uh, no not even a rod holder yet but in the future you will hold have a rod holder you do have a keep net it's still a small one but this is the mo most important thing in the game When you're able to, later in the game, when you're level 5, buy a bigger one. This is the most important, because here in this, you keep the fish that you catch during the day, in-game day. Now you don't need to pay for another day, but if you get in higher level waters, you even need to pay if you go to the next day. So the more you got in your net before you go to the next day, the more profit you will make. So this is the most important piece of equipment that you can own in the game. Trust me. Alright, that's enough about that. Then we go to the shop. Here you, we can buy the first one are the rods. So you have the Taylor float 450. Uh, that's uh, a float, uh, a rod with a bobber. So it's a floating rod. Uh, at level 3 you can buy a value spin, uh, remember this, that's a spinning rod, and of course we also got the Greek Pro, that's a feeder, you got many kinds of different rods, you can, you can just check it, look around and, and learn, of course every rod needs a reel, so you got the normal uh, reels, and then you got this one. This is also not very, very important for you guys yet. A little bit later in the game, yes, but not at this moment. Tools and equipment. Here you will see, you got the Fish Hunt XS, that's the one you got. Um, one fish. You can, if you catch a fish that's smaller than one kilogram, you can put it in there. Is it bigger? 
you, you can't you have to release it but I don't think you will catch the big ones uh, you can have a total fish weight in your net of two kilograms then the net is full and you need to skip to the next day and as you can see at level two you can already uh, buy another one here it's two kilograms here you can already double so you can already uh, have four kilograms in your net and the fish weight that you can put in is one and a half kilogram then we go here that's level four you can already put seven kilogram of fish in your net and the single fish weight is three kilograms and this is very important uh, as soon as you're level five not level four as you level five you should buy this and maybe some people will not agree with me they say buy it as soon as possible but mm, i'm not sure if you can miss the money if you got plenty of money you can do it but trust me when you're level four or five you s i don't know save your money i made the mistake of buying a lot of stuff before i had quite some money so all right uh here you can also buy this stuff you can bring two rods two reels two lines to the water uh yeah but a lot of this stuff we will talk about later in another video then you have the terminal jack tackle and then we talk about like bobbers hooks sinkers uh, feeders more bobbers all that stuff that's terminal tackle then you got the lures and when you're level 5 you can buy lures and trust me guys you want to do that when you're level 5 you want to buy one of these and I will explain you later why then you got the baits baits is the food the bait you can buy now you can buy bread and red worms and probably you got per barley they gave it to you when you started the game uh, later on when you're level 5 you can buy flies and you can buy grasshoppers and that's what you want when you're level 5 I also explain it later ground baits it's not interesting for you guys trust me I would not use this when I start the game uh, boats not interesting for you guys you cannot buy it uh, this is important but that's something at level 5 not now uh, then you got the premium the servers that's not really interesting then you got here missions so you will see like here I did not do all the missions yet and my little friend is here again but if you look like here If you look like here, you see you have an emerald trowel. So what do you need to do? You need to go to Emerald Lake and you need to catch all these fish. So you need to catch a wally, a redfin pickerel, a grass pickerel, a chain pickerel, a northern pike and a sauger. This is very interesting to do. Not now, but maybe if you're a little higher, level 2, 3, then it's fun to try to catch this one because you will get 1300 bucks one bait coin and a nice shed that you can use later and the bait coins you can spend also in the shop you can buy certain stuff with bait coins uh, sport is at the moment not really interesting this is more like competitions custom competition tournaments that kind of stuff and of course premium you know it all the stuff you can buy but I will tell you guys, don't buy like boat packs and this kind of stuff when you're still low level. Because if you do that, yeah, you will level very fast and you will get money very fast. But you will learn nothing about the game. You will learn nothing about the rods, the reels, what kind of uh, lines you need to use, how the bait works, what is... Uh, stop and go what is you will learn nothing what i advise is first play until you're like level 
50. <coughs> Sorry. Till you're like level 50. And then you learn so much about the game. Then you can think about, you know what, let's buy it. The only thing that's maybe interesting if you really want to buy something to help you are these packs like the golden dragon or the golden pack or the deluxe pack deluxe pack the, these packs yeah i think you can buy them or a lucky starter pack these kind of packs yeah you can buy but don't buy the big dlcs because you will learn nothing about the game and then later you will keep asking other people how do i do this how do i do that where can i find this where can i find that learn the game play the game enjoy the game learn and later you can buy a big pack all right and now that was a little bit explanation uh, here you see the weather forecast and here you can also see you have downtime and peak time the peak time means this is the best time to catch fish and you got the peak time during the day but also during the night as you can see and some days are the same some days are different but these moments these peak times are the best moments to fish you will catch the most fish in these times all right uh, what more do i need to tell you if you do fish species you can see what kind of fish you can catch like the black tail shiner <coughs> excuse me guys and here you can see an entire story about the fish how big it will be how long it becomes and here you will see preferred baits what they like to eat uh, this one you have only common this one you have common and trophy trophy it means bigger more xp more money uh, when you get further in the game you will also get uniques here another trophy radar sunfish this one i believe you're not allowed to keep you need to throw it back but you will still get xp and the money um yeah here another one white crappy you also have trophies uh this is a nice fish to catch all right so what will you do now you're here you got your rod there you completed it you put your rod here you put your reel you put your line on it then you put a bobber on it then you put your hook on it and then the bait then you go to globe you click on lone star traveling cost you nothing unlimited pass you can go as much as you want so what will you do you go travel no boats allowed that's not a problem because when you're low level you don't own a boat yet all right let's travel and guys if you like this video and it helped you a little bit please subscribe to my channel all right we don't need this okay we are here <coughs> and where are we going to fish i like to fish here on you click on here you can go there you can go there i think it's best to go here that's my idea some people want to fish here you can check it out you can run around the water you can fish wherever you want you can just try it uh, once you're there you can choose you have a random room so all kinds of people will be in there fishing and chatting you can do a new friends only room you and your friends are the only people who can get in and you got a new private room and that means you're alone nobody will disturb you nobody else is fishing but i think for the beginner the random room i will choose that because you can talk with other people if you have some questions you can ask and maybe you can make some friends in the game that's always nice i i take a private room at this moment because i'm recording a video all right then you go fishing and the game needs to load again and we are here i as you can see i already got the rod in my hand uh, what i do is when i'm there i push on my um, keyboard i push the t and then i come in time i don't know uh, on xbox or playstation but you can uh, check it i will show you later where you can find that first we will do this uh, i skip time till let's say 11 here here it starts 
and it goes to five so this is a nice time to fish so and then i will click forward time and voila there we are it's 11 o'clock i walk over here this i think this is a nice spot and then i will throw no yes i throw and then we wait guys and probably you will hear a ping when a fish is close to your uh, bobber but i can show you that i can show you that i did not show you that yet if you go to this then you go to here controller here you can see what's what like aim rod selector anchor chat all everything is here uh that's the controller key mapping is here this is when you have a keyboard you can see everything all right then you get video here you can say fantastic or even better but here we have the game <coughs> and what can you do if you put this one on bite indicator visibility yes yes where is it i think it's with sounds but here you can do simple then you have only one yeah what is it one picture about what your rod drill and line are doing i prefer pro so i can see everything uh, you can take a small bobber size, a medium bobber size, or big. You can choose. Then you got here the audio. And this one, make sure it's green. Because if a fish comes to your bobber, you will hear ping. So you will know there is a fish. Alright. So let's go fishing. We throw it in. And let's wait for a fish, guys. I prefer worms and this is a nice spot so let's see if we can catch a fish I'm not going to catch a lot in this video it's more that I want to explain you and show you how it works this is quite a long video I'm afraid but I hope you guys will have something about it it, it will help you a little I also I made a lot of videos about Congo River and all the big waters and the high level waters but I think it's also important to help the, the, the players that start. And after this video, I will make another video. But I would advise you guys, stay fishing here until you reach level 5. And save your money. Maybe buy a bigger keep net. But don't buy anything else. Stay here until you're level 5. That's my advice. You can do whatever you want, but I made mistakes. I'm level 80. I'm highest level. And trust me, I made mistakes. I bought stuff that I didn't need. Then I wanted to go fish again, but I did not have money. So I couldn't travel. So I needed to go back here. Trust me, stay here until you're level 5. Save all your money. Buy a bigger keep net. That's okay. But the rest of the money, save it. Alright, the fish doesn't want to beat bite we're in a video of course let's try one more time but you can fish all around but search like places like this this uh, here is some uh, weed on the side or at the water lilies are also good places where you can catch a lot of fish <coughs> and yeah I g you hear it you hear the ping that's what i mean you will hear a ping and don't pull your rod too early wait till he's really going there he is and now we got him we got our first fish a radar sunfish it gives you 39 bucks and 15 xp for me of course it's nothing but when you level one trust me this is a lot of xp all right we keep it i want to show you guys one more thing when you're here here you can change the depth that you're fishing i'm fishing at 62 centimeters but you can just try try 
try where the fish bite, where the fish are. Uh, maybe 80 centimeters, 1 meter, uh, I don't know. Just try it, try it out. And here, in this right button, here you can see how many percent your rod is. Because if your rod becomes under 50 percent, you need to go home and you need to repair your gear. But if you travel home, he will ask you if you want to repair. Uh, probably you need to buy a new line. That's the only thing. The rest you can repair. Line you can't repair. So, <coughs> sorry. If your line is very low, get rid of it, sell it, and then buy a new one. Alright guys, I hope this uh, starters video will help you a little bit to start this game. I really hope you will enjoy this game because I do, I did and I will. It's an amazing game with amazing graphics and trust me, watch some of my other videos so you will see what you can expect in, in the future when you get higher level because there are great waters, great stuff to fish on and yeah. Guys, enjoy this game. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Do a thumbs up under the video and push the notification bell so you will get a notification when I post the next video and leave a little comment if you want so guys thank you for watching and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year